Hello, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM, an ENT consultant practicing at Srinivas Speciality ENT Center, Malaysia. In adults, early morning bleeding is usually secondary to a sudden increase in blood pressure. So that means these patients will generally be non hypertensive, they will be taking medication or uh, they might be hypertensive who are not at all on medication and they, their first pre uh, presentation might be bleeding from the nose. Uh, we can also see bleeding uh, from the nose uh, in the adult population, uh, in uh, people who are on blood thinners, who are taking uh, anticoagulants for various other uh, ailments in the body. Now the other group in whom uh, we can um, see uh, bleeding early in the morning. And when we say early in the morning, this usually happens um, say between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Elderly age group or in today's modern world, the middle aged man, somebody who is in his uh, uh, mid 50s or late 50s and early 60s, uh, who is a hypertensive, uh, that means people who have high blood pressure who are on medication, their BP tends to be a little bit on the higher side uh, at this duration between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. and uh, they can start bleeding from the nose. Now, hypertensives who bleed early in the morning can be bleeding torrentially. When we use the word torrentially, you will see that they bleed in um, volumes which can exceed 50 ml of blood uh, coming out of their nose. The other uh, history that most patients uh, would give us is that in the early morning when they got up uh, and went into the bathroom to have a wash, uh, they start noticing that their nose starts uh, dripping. Now, in the, in the elderly or the, in the adult, when we see bleeding from the nose, uh, then we need to be very sure whether the bleeding originates from the front part of the nose or at the back part of the nose. In the elderly, the back part of the nose um, uh, bleeds are more common and uh, it can arise from one of the branches of the main blood supply of the nose called the sphenopalatine artery. And uh, in uh, these patients, uh, since the blood loss can be of high volume and uh, torrential, uh, they may need some uh, intervention either in the form of a packing initially uh, so that they can get control over the bleeding to uh, appropriate uh, antihypertensives, some rest and then um, uh, uh, removal of the pack after 24 hours or so and if it doesn't recur then control of blood pressure alone would be sufficient. But uh, a few unfortunate people tend to bleed uh, very frequently. That means they may bleed every third day, fourth day or weekly once or something like that. In them, uh, what we offer is a surgical uh, procedure called as a endoscopic um, sphenopalatine artery uh, ligation. The sphenopalatine artery uh, can be very easily uh, accessed uh, in the nose um, using endoscopes and this can be clipped. Uh, and uh, the success rate of this surgery is really good in these kind of patients.